There's no new podcast episode this week, but that's a perfect time to catch up on the episodes that have already come out. We had our preview episode, which lays out the season writ large and gives you an overall view of what we're doing here with iconic seasons and what could be coming with upcoming seasons if we make it to those. Then you can sit back and enjoy the first three episodes of iconic seasons before we get into the Thanksgiving dinner, if you will, of iconic seasons. The first episode focuses on New Orleans and the final fours that have occurred there. So you can relive some of the moments from Syracuse versus Kansas, the redo to this 1987 season to Michael Jordan's jump shot. The second episode goes into Indiana's origin story and relives some of the ways that this Indiana Hoosiers team came together. We talk about their trip to China and how this was the genesis for some of Steve Alford's history with the program and gave a lot of the players who would contribute to this Final Four team a bonding experience that they would remember for a lifetime. We also talk about some of the other ways that the team came together, whether it be the junior college transfers or the loss to Cleveland State. And we wrap up the first run of three episodes talking about Providence. Providence 1987 was this incredible team with Billy Donovan, who's still the head coach for the Chicago Bulls, and Rick Pitino, who was a 30-year-old head coach who had already had NBA experience and comes in with the conception of the three-point line, a vision for the three-point line that would modernize the game in real time. He blitzkrieged his opponents by utilizing the new weapon before they even understood the power of the, the rule change. I think that the stories and the blend of interviews really give you a rich history of this Providence team and get you ready for the upcoming episodes. After we return from our Thanksgiving holiday, we'll get started with the episodes. We're going to talk about Syracuse and their run to the championship game and their eventual one-point loss to the Hoosiers. And we start recapping the games. We'll look at that Providence-Syracuse Final Four game and recap that and break down all the interesting plays and details around that game before we shift gears to UNLV and Indiana, which will be storytelling episodes coupled with reviews of each game, including the Final Four game between Tark and Coach Knight and the championship game and Keith Smart's shot. I hope that you've enjoyed the beginning of Iconic Seasons and that you continue to join us throughout the season. If you'd like to binge the entire season, that's going to be possible. We're going to change things up on Patreon a little bit. And if you're interested in listening to all the episodes at once, you can go to Patreon and become a patron for only $4 and binge the entire season. If not, you can follow along on Buzzsprout and enjoy the episodes as they come out. But of course, supporting us on Patreon makes it more likely that we'll get to a season two 1979 or potentially a different season if we see a pathway to telling a different story. Thanks again for joining us. We've had such a great response already with hundreds and hundreds of people downloading the episodes and listening to these and continuing to support uh, the 199 podcast, now the Iconic Seasons podcast. Thanks again to the Chucker and Robert Wire for contributing to this and all the guests that we had on for our interviews. And then- threw it on the backside to Michael, and Michael made the jump shot. And I remember as we were leaving the huddle, I was standing right beside Coach Smith, and he patted Michael on the back, and he said, if you get it, knock it in, Michael. That shot also launched the legend of Michael Jordan, the GOAT. It goes back to the rims. Yeah, I Let's talk about the rims. There's an episode, <laughs> in the, there's a thing in the middle of the game where the, the announcer's like, yeah, the reason why these Syracuse is getting so many rebounds is because these rims are so hard, so they bounce off, and Syracuse is just faster to the ball. So do you buy in that the rims can can make one team a better rebounding zero, team? Better? Zero percent chance. Also, <laughs> also, the shooting did not seem to affect UNLV and IU later because they could not miss uh, a shot. Although maybe, you know, Freddie didn't even hit the rim, so maybe it was just all swishes, and he didn't have to worry about the rim. I'm not sure. Alfred and, and him, they're all just swishes. So they're like, oh, yeah, we don't worry about the hard rims because we don't even touch them. And, I, and then the other question that I would have about the rims is 
Why would the NCAA have hard boards? <laughs> I don't know. Right? That doesn't even make sense. You spend all this money on seats, shirts, all yeah. this stuff. Why would you not you order be a, able to have good rims? You order up a hard sense. rim. You know, yeah. we, Iconic Seasons is a principal podcast production. I'm your host and executive producer, Aaron Meyer. Special thanks to all our guests for sharing their journeys. If you enjoy this series, head over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts and follow the show. And make sure to leave us a rating and review. It really helps us and it helps others discover the show. If you're interested in a bonus episode, send us your questions via email. Our email address is hardwoodhistory at gmail.com. Thanks again for listening. 